What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should invest in Bitcoin or Call of Duty points. Let's say I walk up to you at, uh, you know, the next MLG event and I'd say, hey, here's $10,000. Why don't you go invest in either Bitcoin or COD points, right? You have to invest in one or the other. That's the catch. Maybe you don't know much about either. So we're going to be talking about four different key components of investing. And we're going to break it down between Bitcoin and cod points so the first thing we're going to talk about is return on investment now if you invested in bitcoin on january 1st of this year of 2017 you would have seen a 1500 percent increase on your return assuming you sold at the second that i am making this video now 1500 percent is an incredible return people would would literally kill to have that type of return every single year on their portfolio i mean just having a a 30 percent return is like insane um so you know that's a really great return however call of duty points actually give you at least a two thousand percent increase in your swagger um people know when you're running through a lobby if you have a really really sick gear on people envy you people think you're really really good um, a lot of times enemies will just be staring at your really awesome gear and your equipment and they'll just let you kill them and because of that your kill to death ratio is going to go up people from school are going to start to talk about you you're going to get all the girls you're going to look really really cool and it's just going to boost your confidence probably around 2000%. Um, so when you're comparing the return on investment, I'd say COD points really do give you a bit more for your money, even though they're they're really, really close. The next thing we're going to talk about is the ease of understanding. Right now, if you're going to make an investment, you have to at least understand what you're investing in. And if it's something very complicated, you might need a college degree and you never really want to put money into something that you don't understand um, because it's just, it's never a good idea. So let's talk about bitcoin right nobody really knows what bitcoin is everybody's saying oh it's a digital currency it's a cyber currency it's a virtual token things like that and everyone says you know it's because of the blockchain and, and that's all they really ever talk about is the blockchain and, and bitcoin and you know everyone in silicon valley is investing in the and the people you know on wall street and the stock exchanges they're starting to invest and you know there's these yeah etfs coming out soon about bitcoins and no one really fully knows that much about all this stuff and it's very difficult to understand um, however, if we're talking about COD points, right, Call of Duty points, it's very, very simple. All you do is give Activision your money in exchange for their currency, which is COD points. So that's, you know, pretty easy to understand. And then you use these COD points to purchase, um, you know, supply drops in Call of Duty and you get really cool gear from it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And it's very, very simple. So as far as how easy it is to, in, you know, understand your investment, you always want to go with something that you can fully understand. And I would say if you don't understand Bitcoin, like most of you, if not all of you, then I would say COD points is, is really going to have to win this category again. Next, let's talk about how safe your investment is, right? Because if you're going to make an investment, even if it's got a good return on investment and you fully understand the industry, if it's not safe, then you could lose all your money. Um, so let's talk about how safe Bitcoin is right now. We've got like 20% of Bitcoin being traded in, um, in North Korea. We're seeing it being traded in Russia and all these other places. Um, we're seeing people hacking into Bitcoin and stealing people's Bitcoins out of their wallets, um, you know, seizing all sorts, millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin just going away overnight. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty safe investment, I'd say, you know, if, if millions of dollars can disappear in a couple of seconds and that's out of your control, I'd say that's a pretty safe investment, right? You know, if you're putting in your money, a second later, someone in North Korea could have all of it. I'd say that's pretty safe. So even though Bitcoin's pretty safe, I still want to talk about COD points because I, I just feel like when you when you buy COD points, right, you then turn your money, your hard earned money into really, really cool virtual swagger for Call of Duty World War Two. And I'd say, you know, because of the fact that someone in North Korea can't steal it, someone from Russia can't hack in and, and take it. I mean, they can. Um, but usually when PSN gets hacked, you know, it's come it comes back in, in like a couple of hours. Um, and it's usually just a couple of trolls from Anonymous or from, you know, the Geek Squad or something like that. And, you know, your stuff is usually safe, right? Usually the network goes down but your stuff is safe um, because PlayStation Network is just a better place to you know have your virtual goods um, so you know even though you know all these hackers and these criminals are using Bitcoin and it's pretty safe because of all those people I would say COD points are still probably a safer investment because at the end of the day 
if the value of the cod point goes down to nothing at least you still have your really really cool swag to run around the lobby in and your really cool um, guns where you can get extra experience and stuff like that so you know if Bitcoin goes to zero then you have nothing you have no money no Bitcoin nothing but if the cod point goes to zero well then you still can exchange it for, for supply drops and still get some really cool guns so I'd say you know even though places like North Korea and Russia are really safe um, and, and hackers are definitely people that you can trust then even still I'd say probably cod points is just a safer investment next we're going to talk about which one is the smarter investment and which one makes you look smarter right because that's very important when it comes to investing you want to you want something that's going to make you look smart uh, because other people will respect you if you're if they see you as an intellectual right so a lot of people right now are talking about bitcoin and they're saying blockchain you know that that's a very catchy word blockchain when, when, when you say that people in the room know that you're a very very smart person even if you don't know what blockchain is as long as you say it people will know that you're intelligent uh, and that's really really important right but it, you know Oh, the other thing is Call of Duty points, um, when you exchange them for really cool swag and supply drops, people in your lobby, in the game lobby, are going to think that you know what you're doing. They're going to follow you around the map and they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. They're going to say, hey, you can lead us, we'll follow you. You know, we trust that you will lead us to victory because you have the coolest gear in the lobby and i think when you're comparing you know people saying you know bitcoin and blockchain and ethereum and, and like oh i invested early you know that's a that's a huge one when you say i invested early you look really really smart especially right now with bitcoin um but even still at the end of the day you know just the level of respect and intellect that you will get by purchasing a ton of cod points um is just a little bit higher than bitcoin i mean they both look make you look really smart you know if you're gonna spend all that money on either bitcoin or cod points i'd say they're very very neck and neck um but i just i gotta give it to the cod points because there's just something about everyone in the lobby following you around and taking your orders when you're yelling at them over xbox live it just you look a ton smarter when you spend your money on cod points so, I mean, you heard it here, guys. We broke down four of the most important aspects of investing. We talked about the return on investment, how easy it is to understand the investment, which investment is safer, and which one makes you look smarter. And, you know, every single time, it's been a close battle, but COD, COD points, Call of Duty points, won every single time. So, I just wanted to make this video, kind of breaking this down for you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I do have a degree in business, um, so I know what I'm talking about. And I just wanted to kind of break this down and tell you guys, like what's a better investment maybe if you aren't sure so let's say you know Christmas is around the corner or maybe you're watching this around Christmas um, and you get a bunch of Christmas cards from your family and you, you save up you know maybe $500 it's probably better to just spend that 500 on cod points than Bitcoin just because it's just just because of all the things that we've talked about in this video anyway guys obviously this video was a joke um, I just wanted to kind of get this out there and talk about the two because at the end of the day you know you really have to make your own financial decisions and a lot of people are investing in Bitcoin right now um, but you know I just thought it was funny to compare the two because they are technically both virtual currencies except one of them you can trade openly and the other is only to redeem for supply drops but um, I, yeah I just thought it would be a funny video to make and um, I wanted to shout out a another YouTube channel called real men real style um, they have literally nothing to do with anything that you guys might be interested in um, it's like a men's fashion um, YouTube channel but he he made a video very similar to this one that's obviously where I got the idea um, and I thought it was just a brilliant idea and, and in my head I was like oh my god I'm gonna talk I'm gonna compare Bitcoin to COD points and I thought it was, it was really funny but you know I didn't want to steal his idea without um, crediting the channel so if you guys wanted to go check that out maybe you're interested in that stuff I don't know I doubt it uh, just because the demographics are probably very different but anyway um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video obviously again like I said don't Honestly, if you were to ask me right now, I'd say don't invest in either of these things, um, but certainly don't take this video seriously at all. It was it was all just in good fun, and uh, that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been on New York. Hopefully you guys will drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you thought of the video. Subscribe for more, and make sure you turn on notifications so you know the next time I upload. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been on New York. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.
<laughs> that dude was 29 and 17. That dude on our team. Yeah. He had a shit.